I am here with Gord from Wood Bully Design and Built, and we are talking outdoor spaces. Now, can you explain to me why they become so popular? I think they've become popular because people have realized the potential that their backyard actually holds. So what we do is we aim to bring the living space out of the house and into the yard, and we literally transform every square inch of property that's here. I love this backyard. It's absolutely stunning. What went into it? A lot goes into a space like this. So at Woodbully, what we do is planning and optimizing and organization. So it all starts with a consultation. Me and my design team will come out and we will take down all the ideas and dreams that the client has. And we put all your dreams and aspirations together to create spaces like this. I noticed the glass railings over there. They're simple and refined, just so elegant. That's Crystal Rail by Regal Ideas. And what they say is there's nothing between you and the view. And the view speaks for itself. Installation is easy when you're trained correctly. And if you think it looks good now, you should see it at night. It lights up. Everyone likes the nighttime living space outside. It adds ambience and it improves the mood when you come out and for entertaining. Well, you've done an amazing job. What advice do you give about budgeting or deck options? Now, what you want to do is plan ahead and realize that there's so much that goes into a build like this that you need to contact me a few months prior to you wanting the build actually done. We have the design, we have consultations, we have permits, we have engineers, we have everything involved. You have to plan and budget accordingly. Well, what do you see more for trends? I see privacy and then things to enhance the living space like fire, water, lighting, seating, just to make the space enjoyable and entertaining. Thank you so much, Gord, for taking the time and talking with us. You're welcome. I'm Holly Nimmons. Back to you, Mark and Mandy. Yeah. Hey! Woo. Pay attention, Brian. So you remember that one where I was cutting the groove and gluing it and heating it up and folding it and making that staircase? Well, here it is finished. Um, it's been finished for a while. Uh, we were waiting on these these lights to be put in and uh, really just a good time to come this far north at night is where we could take these kinds of pictures during the blue hour. So let me do a quick walkthrough. Come on. Here we have the skirting. We used helical pile foundation, fortress steel framing for everything. There's not one piece of wood on this entire project. Here we go, but check this out. Okay, the rail is glass all across the face. The stairs from the infamous video. Lights are on in the stairs. It looks amazing. Let's go. And for everyone who said these stairs would fail, turns out you're wrong. No surprise there. Okay, so look at this. Imagine this. Just, just imagine you put your children to bed. And if you don't have children, whatever. But either way, it's time to watch the sunset. You step outside with a couple of beverages or something. And this is what you get attached to your house. Can you imagine? I can't. I just build them. I don't have one. But check this out. There's a kitchen. It's got the sink, the fridge, the storage, the barbecue, all standard stuff. We have a dining area, a hot tub. Now, the hot tub we brought in over the house with a crane and dropped into another frame that we had built underneath so we could get this hot tub exactly bench height, which is 18 inches above the deck surface. Now, aesthetically, as a designer, you might want it to be flush, but for practical purposes, 18 inches above is perfect, and it's less dangerous, less risk of drunk people or children falling in it. And then we have the fire feature. Um, everything we built custom. If it's not made of steel, it's made of stone, or it's made of PVC. It's amazing. Pay attention, Brian, it's finished day for now. We have an issue with the hot tub not showing up because you know, this is what's going on this year. Everything's delayed. But other than that, everything is done. Check it out. So we did a stone feature wall here on the end of the deck. Um, it's lit up, it's got lovely plants in front of it and check out this fence. Our friends at New Trend supplied us with the Eternity fence system. I think it's way better than a traditional wood fence especially for a job like this where everything we're doing is modern and clean now check this out this is just a shed um, we just decided to build it like a really fancy looking cube and uh, i think it's fantastic here's our garden beds 
I don't know if you remember what this whole place looked like before, but this is a massive transformation. Over here is where the hot tub is poised to be placed, but it is delayed. But once it's here, I assure you it's gonna look good. And then we have our barbecue area and our stone privacy wall. And then we have our seating area under the gazebo. And uh, we're off to the next one.